The misconception about foster youth, I can say that people have, is that they think that we're more like crazy. Um, we grew up in a rough path and we had like our behavior issues, we had our depression, we had our anxiety or whatever it is, you know, it's just, that's what people think, but in reality, people don't really see deep down inside what caused that issue or what made it happen. Um, but for me, like, you know, what I think is that, you know, if, you're, if you don't know what that person's been through, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm most proud of Jonathan for just the resilience he's shown in life. He's come across things that nobody should have to face, um, none of which were his fault. Um, and he's, he's just had a lot of barriers to, to cross in the last five years and even before I got to know him. So the fact that you were able to get through that, you were able to navigate high school, um, you've been able to work in jobs for long periods of time that a lot of people your age aren't able to do. Um, so just his, his ability to still look at life the way he does is an, an inspiration for me. Um, and you know, I take that into other relationships I've got in life. His ability to overcome, still have a good sense of humor, still have fun, still make connections and make people feel good is hard to do for someone that's been on this earth for 30 plus years. And the fact that he does it when he's 19 years old, uh, that's a very mature thing to do for someone that's been through the things he's been through.